Welcome to Red in Motion. Our video will look at an important paper in the American Journal of Respiratory Cell and Molecular Biology. Here we discuss electronic nicotine delivery system aerosol-induced cell death and dysfunction in macrophages and lung epithelial cells by researchers from Brown University. The use of electronic nicotine delivery systems, or e-cigarettes, is on the rise. In e-cigarettes, an e-liquid mixture of chemicals is heated and aerosolized for inhalation. But during aerosolization, the basic components of the mixture degrade into various other toxic compounds. These can cause short-term lung illnesses, as evidenced from the recent increase in e-cigarette-related lung injury cases. However, research remains to be done on the exact mechanisms by which this harm is caused. And, given the newness of the products themselves, the long-term effects remain to be determined. To thus advance research, scientists at Brown University conducted an in vitro study on human and mouse lung epithelial cells, or lining cells, and macrophages, or immune cells. They directly exposed the cell cultures to aerosols generated from typical e-liquid components with and without nicotine. The exposure caused both apoptotic, or programmed, and necrotic, or dysfunctional, cell death in epithelial cells. This effect was greater for the composition containing nicotine. In the macrophages, too, similar cell death was observed, but in this case, the effect was not amplified by nicotine. However, when the aerosol contained nicotine, the primary macrophage functions of clearing out bacteria and dead cells were severely hampered. Interestingly, Nicotine alone did not do any such damage. Finally, exposure of macrophages to a low aerosol level that did not cause cell death also impaired their function, suggesting that e-liquid components drive pathology independent of cytotoxic effects. These findings clarify the causes underlying short-term lung injury following e-cigarette use and provide evidence of the potential damage that they can do over the long term. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Gregory L. Serpa and colleagues. Thank you for watching Red in Motion.